I'm standing here um, right next to a little town called Waialua. Uh, pretty much on the North Shore. It's right next to, uh, uh, let's see, it's just west of uh, Haleva, Haleva town. And um, the, the little highway is coming in here from uh, Mililani, which is down the street here. And if you continue up the road here, you will end up uh, pretty much at uh, the beach. There, there are a few mi more miles to, to drive. And, and this, this little community here uh, is part of a big uh, sugar plantation. And uh, they, they closed that a few years ago. Not too long ago though, I think this uh, Waialua sugar uh, plantation here was one of the last to, to close in, uh, in Oahu. A anyway, this area now has a lot of these small farms and uh, you can see they, they have a papaya and many other things here uh, and they, they produce lots of that stuff because there is no more sugar so they, they need to use the land for, for something else here. Today the weather is uh, a little cloudy now in the morning uh, with some uh, here and there some light uh, drizzling of, of rain uh, but it's going to oops it's slippery uh, it's um, it's going to clear up here in, uh, in a couple of hours it's uh, it's already you know you can see some blue sky up here and before I, I go to uh, the uh, the old uh, Waialua Mill. I just wanted to, do, uh, you know, kind of illustrate how it looks like. They have a couple of markets here uh, in town. Uh, actually, there is one store here, and for some reason, there is always an arts store. I, I see there is a healing arts. I don't know what that means really, but they have a little store here, and they are selling some uh, vegetables outside. Uh, I just need to buy some uh, some little thing to uh, to drink, I think, but because even if it's cloudy, it's it's very warm here. It's uh, over 80, and super because of the little rain here, it's like super super sweaty. And you'd be surprised, by the way, lots of traffic, e even up here, and uh, Honolulu traffic can. If you go down to town, it can be kind of brutal in, in many, many ways, L like that. So let me go in and uh, grab a drink. Hello, good morning. All right, I will buy some uh, cold, uh, cold drink. Hello, do you have Red Bull? Red Bull. I need a Red Bull. Thank you very much. All right. So they, they actually had uh, wings. I can buy some wings, and you know I should probably buy some um, oops, some water, water as well to to keep the, the day going here. So that's very nice. I need I need one more thing. I need this, and I need some coconut water. And the cool thing is they actually sell beer as well in case you are very thirsty. Take the coconut juice here. All right, so let me shut down and pay here. All right, I take this as well. Okay. I'd like to show you the uh, the little town center here. They have right next to, or it, it's, it's actually just behind the gas station here. You are coming in here and it's a, it's a big parking lot here. Uh, <coughs> they have, you know, all the necessary stuff you need, like uh, uh, IPA, cold IPAs in the, in the store, that's important. Uh, they have uh, some yoga, uh, other types of uh, restaurants here, and, and they also have a community center down here. And pizza, I mean, you can't really survive without that pizza. And I know down in the corner, 
down there they, they have a store selling like uh, some uh, fishing supply uh, it's basically sporting sporting goods things like that stuff you need on the beach but the last time I went in to try to buy some swimming goggles they didn't have it they have everything for like diving but not really for for uh, swimming and if you have some dirty pants you can always go in and uh, do some laundry here uh, which is convenient in case you live under a tree okay it's perfect so so it's a cool little place right next to the former mill and the red building or, or I think it's the red building behind the Jeep here <coughs> is actually the uh, library uh, and you know since I'm here I might as well cross over and go out on the back here I know they, they used to have a little restaurant in one of these buildings here and look at that building Bank of Hawaii that bluish building you see right there look at that I mean you wouldn't think you find a building like this almost right in uh, in the forest here look at that Bank of Hawaii but keep in mind they had a lot of money here in the past until very recently here's the library again Waialua library and at least they used to have Thai food here I don't know if this is an active place but it could be and they, they actually made a, a painting here of the sugar mill itself here's the painting on the wall and I'm actually staring right at the former mill all right so I'm standing here right in front of the sugar mill in uh, Waialua and I have some some guys here they want to be showing up in YouTube later on oh, are you surfing dudes or yes, sir. Surfing. yeah surfing dudes cool what are you doing here just surfing, surfing hanging out surf. do, do you live here in town yes we live in Haliva Haliva guys yes, very sir. cool seeing you I'm from Sweden yeah bro Sweden. Have a, so you didn't go to uh, to the championship in uh, Maui, the, the Jaws? No Jaws. I went there, that was pretty big waves. Wow. 50 wow. feet, like oh, that. We gotta go, we gotta go. Anyway, have a nice day, okay? Let's go inside. So it went from being a sugar mill to a farmer's market. And we are lucky today because they have the farmers market here between 8.30 and 1 p.m. And let's see what, what time it is. It's 11.20 so it's still open. Um, I'm not even sure where to, to start here but they have some buses here coming from probably Waikiki or Honolulu to say the least. And. Uh, Take a look at the hardware here they used uh, in the mill before. Wow, I'm in here. It's almost like being in an astronomical observatory here. And it kind of smells like soap in here. I'm not sure where, where the actual factory is, but you, you can you can tell they have some some equipment in here, some machines, and maybe they are producing it in here. And it, it looks like they are making it here. Hey, do you make the soap here? Yeah, we have one soap maker. Wow! It smells like soap. Yeah, it's really strong. It's really strong. What, what is special with the soap here? I mean, so the soap here. Um, it's what is it made from? Um, so, castor, palm, olive, um, 
coconut, the curry, and... Um, Let me buy a soap from you. Which one is the, the coconut? Show me the coconut soap. So the most popular... Um, so we do have coconut right here. Yeah. We also have the kui nut. That one's like our most popular. Let, let me see that. Show, show me that one. It's unscented. Oh no, I need some scent. I mean, I need to smell like a coconut boy. Oh, okay, I mean, then, yeah. I, I, I def definitely, one, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm a coconut guy. This is our coconut here. Fantastic. How much is this? Um, I believe it's um, six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Where do I pay? Right here. Oh, right here. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Would you like a bag for 15? No, 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 no. I take it like it is. Okay. And I use it tonight, and I let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I smell like beauty boy. Here's <laughs> ten bucks. Okay guys, I just purchased coconut soap. Okay. In Waialua, Hawaii. All right, good. Do you live here in town? Yes, I live here. You like it? Um, I like it a lot. Yeah. I've been here for a year now. Oh really? Yes. Do you do surfing? No. no <laughs> Do you, sir? I, I wish. I, I can't. So you're just selling soap? <laughs> yeah, I sell soap. Okay, you came here to sell soap. Where did you come from? Um, I came here from Texas. From Texas? Uh -huh. Alright, cool. Well, you have a nice day. Yeah. Thank have you. Have a good day. Yeah, bye-bye. A Texas girl selling soap in Waialua. Alright. They have some local produce here. Pineapples. I see small melons, bananas, maybe some hats. Yes, handmade, one of a kind, with vintage sea glass. I see local. that. It's like almost cowboy style. You, you have cowboy, but paniolo. Yes, paniolo. Mm. But I also have a lot of ladies, uh, paradise real estate ladies are wearing. So did you just. You know what I bought? What? I bought this coconut soap. I will oh. smell like a little beauty boy later. Do you like it? I love it. It's good, right? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's hard to believe they, they, they make that in here, but they do. They do, they do. Uh, and I have the authentic sunrise shell as well, which only at one time royalty was allowed to wear. Really? Yes. Wow. No, uh, no one else could wear this shell at another time. So now it's extremely, extremely sought after. You don't see them on the wow. beaches wow. unless you really know how to, you know, search and be a treasure hunter. Sure, sure, and sure. And then they are, look, they come with the, oh, look at this beautiful pink. You see, this is why they're so famous. Look at that color. So this is uh, locally produced here, Yes, right? this is a one of, look at that color. I know, it's beautiful. Look at those colors. Everything here is very and, beautiful. And, and it's mm. not drilled, it's spiral of life. Do you make them yourself? I make, I make you, them. You're the artist. Well, I am the treasure collector and I, I'm doing the endowments right now on the hats. That's what I'm focusing on. I'm making little vintage earrings. And so I collect treasures. Fantastic. To share. Yeah, of course. And are you from where, man? Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I ended up here. And okay, so are I'm you just, is this for all your friends in Sweden? It friends is. Friends and family? Sure, sure. Oh, well, I need aloha. To show them. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully they come and visit. It's Christmas here. I know they're going to say, what is she wearing? And what is that? It's I mean, Merry Christmas. It, what is Holiday it? 85 time. degrees and you have that? Well, You're this, not sweating? I have the Christmas spirit. <laughs> have a nice day. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, that's what I'm saying. Hello. Hi guys, Good. what are you selling, hats? Yes, they're all $20. That one is uh, marijuana. <laughs> it's a weed hat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're selling a weed hat here for 20 bucks. <laughs> Oh man, the question is, do I want to bad, be a bad boy or, or not? I don't know, what do you think? Do I look like a bad boy? I don't know. It looks to me like you could be a bad boy. I, I could be a bad boy, absolutely. Her. I, I kind of like these hats, they're kind of cool. Um, I've got a little mirror there if you want to try one on and see how it looks. What do you think? Weed. Yeah, I, okay, let, let's be bad. Let me see if I have a 20 here. It's tw 20 straight, right? $20, yeah. Yeah, 20 bucks. Yeah, $20. Okay, I want to be. So I, I, I get the green for another green, right? <laughs> okay, green for a green. Here's 20 bucks. Excellent. Okay. Let me just, there's a little inventory tag. Yeah, you can remove all that stuff. Okay, you want, yeah. this, you want this one off also? Oh yeah, take it off. Okay. Take it off. All right. 
okay, I'm just buying a, a weed hat here <laughs> for, for 20, so, so that so, will be fun. So in Hawaii, we call it pakalolo. Pakalolo. Okay, yeah, that, that's, is, that's, so, that's the Hawaiian word for marijuana. I, I will go to the police and talk to them and see what they say here. <laughs> see if this is legal. Oh, it's legal. <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. Fantastic, Enjoy. thank you. Enjoy, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. I bought the weed hat. The weed's worth weed That's good, right? All right, so I'm standing right here and uh, you see the the big chimney behind me here. Huh? Where they probably cooked the sugar cane. I wonder what the process is. It's not like when you make olive oil, I think, when you just squeeze it and it, the sugar comes out. But you know, when, or, or maybe it is, but when, when you go to like, say, Chinatown or a place where they actually sell uh, sugar cane juice, they just squeeze it, right? But here, why do they have a chimney? I mean, it, are they actually cooking it to, to process the juice into, uh, into sugar? That I'm not sure about. And right now there, there is like no people here I can ask but if I see someone I will but it's definitely some type of oven and it's really like walking in mud here wow okay So say a hundred years ago, the entire area here dependent on, on, on this mill here. It, it, it's, it's amazing because they have hundreds of these uh, plantation homes here. They got people from all over the world, uh, lots of people from Asia, the Philippines. They have some, some other countries too. And, and they all came here to, to work here and they had thousands and this is just one plantation right and, and then they had like a, 10 more or, 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 or so here on the island and it all happened and it was active for you know 60 years 70 years and then it all died out it's it's amazing looks like uh, somebody is making some kind of uh, cabinets in here maybe some furnitures I see I see some surfboards in there and maybe they are also making uh, surfboards and that would be uh, a good thing to, to actually make here I mean this is we are just in surf paradise you know North Shore Oahu I mean it can't be better than that Here's another little alley. Lots of these. And everything is colored from the soil itself. You know, the soil here is like being on Mars, right? It's all red, totally red. And you can see that up here on, on these walls. It's not really rust. It's, it's more like this colored from, um, from the ground itself. Whatever this building used to be, it was built in 1917 maybe a little uh, utility building or storage building small planet studios all right so maybe they are making some movies in here well the area is, is big it's a huge area so uh, why not instead of just you know removing the whole facility here parachute center i don't know what they are making if they are making uh, parachutes or because th this is pretty pretty close to um, Dillingham uh, airfield where they actually do a lot of parachuting it's just a few miles away uh, 
uh, you see these old buildings here so they have been in uh, service for many years and I wonder how many more years will they will they actually be standing here before before they basically break down or, or maybe maybe it's protected uh, so they can't can't remove it or, or maybe not every building is is protected but um, hopefully this will be here for uh, generations to come so, so you can uh, you can come and see how how life used to be here in Hawaii not too long ago actually but it's definitely a place you need to come and uh, check out uh, if you are coming to Hawaii you need to go to one of these plantations I mean otherwise you're missing out I mean it's such a such a big part of the Hawaiian history here so if you miss that and only stay in a bar in Waikiki I don't know I mean keep that in mind you're wasting uh, your life here uh, you, 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 you can you can sit in a bar at home but if you're here you need to actually see what's going on here on the island okay so I found these two uh, hula girls here they are dancing right here outside the Waialua surf shop and um, we can't miss that so we need to we need to go in and by the way dogs allowed which is pretty cool hello hello how's it going yeah and here is the the surf shop uh, one thing I noticed is they, they have a lot of uh, cool uh, cool shirts and uh, surfboards how do you is this uh, made out here, all of it? These yeah, birds? not in this factory all, but like yeah, a yeah. lot yeah, in the sugar mill. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Yeah. How long have you had this? Is this your business? Or? No, it's not my. I just work here at the shop. Sure, sure. Yeah. What a cool place, man. Yeah. You're lucky working here. It's great. Do you live in town? No, I live here in the North Shore. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Good, good. I'm from Sweden. Oh, nice. What yeah. part of Sweden? Uh, just outside of Stockholm. Okay. Yeah. My girlfriend lives in Neckfer, near John Shopping. John Shopping, yeah. yeah she so you've been in Sweden many times. Nice. Nice yeah. meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Baby. There you have it. Why are you at surf shop? And I think you have seen most of the area now, so all you need to do is to come here yourself and actually get the real experience because even if you're watching this, it's not the same thing. I mean, go in and smell the coconut soap here in the soap factory. So for now, this is it from the uh, sugar mill area here, okay? Right now, I'm actually standing uh, behind the uh, the mill itself, and what you are looking down here is a typical plantation village. And uh, there is a car coming here, and wh what I'm going to do is there is actually a, a Japanese temple right here. Uh, it, it's kind of closed since uh, many years but it, it's actually sitting on top of probably the best real estate you can imagine here it, it, it's a little hill and uh, you, you see you see uh, Waialua town pretty much down here So, if, if, if I understand this correctly, uh, it was built in uh, 1902. And look at the color here, it's, uh, it's all rusty red from uh, the soil. And uh, Haleva uh, town is right over there it's 
it would be very very interesting to know who is actually owning this land here it's, it's just the best land i think you are at the highest point right there look at this Wow, let's see if there is a sound in this. Yeah, wow. Very, very cool. Well, they probably had, and, and uh, actually there is a lot of uh, Japanese people here, uh, living here. Lots of Asian people in general, uh, in, in Hawaii and uh, the little store earlier they are all descendants from um, from um, japan and whatever you go even today on the island it's it's very much a japanese culture here in in many ways it's hawaiian polynesian asian and all that stuff and uh, maybe not waikiki though uh, I don't know what kind of culture that is. That's a drinking culture, okay? But the rest of the island is like this. And if you continue a few miles in that direction you will end up in uh, first you you pass the little airport the dillingham airport where they actually do parachuting and a few more miles out is uh, is the trail out it's a three to four miles trail out to cayenna point coming from the north shore here in case in case you have energy and you want to walk out all right we have seen the temple here or the mission they, they call it the mission I, i'm not sure what the difference is uh, mission or temple or whatever uh, but it's it's pretty pretty nice and there is no pavement here that's why everything basically gets this color here as you can you you can see the road the the, the ground is is all this brownish rusty red and what I will do, I will actually drive right through here, try to to see what we can uh, find out. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like half a mile down to the to the main road here. Yeah, it's uh, starting to to clear up today. It will be a nice afternoon, I think. Uh, I just uh, checked the the forecast and they say by by four o'clock it would be totally nice here it, it's very nice now but it's you know it's not a blue sky yet so let's go down here if you don't like your your car dirty th this is not the place for you but I'm actually driving down this road here and you can see how people used to live here for at least 120 years something like that You have these uh, original plantation homes everywhere And I can tell you one thing many of these Small homes here. They have a lot of uh, history and a lot of charm by the way uh, It's it's really really a beautiful place uh, it, it's kind of primitive, but uh, but still, it's it's very nice. And you know what? Suddenly, I see something I've never seen before. They actually closed the road here. Wow! All right, so stuff is happening here. Maybe they do more uh, farming down there, but this used to be um, wide open somebody put up a gate and the sad thing here is that there is trash 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 everywhere in hawaii that's that's sad so well this is new wow okay resident only so what i will do then 
Yeah, they don't like people too, too many tourists with cameras, right? I just have to make a little U-turn here and uh, go back up, but you get the pictures. Uh, the, the, the whole place looks like this uh, on both sides. Uh, there is a little park. Maybe you can see that on the other side. Or maybe this is some. Maybe this is somebody's uh, front yard. Uh, I said park, but I don't think they really had any parks here in the past. But somebody, somebody owns this land here, and uh, it could be whoever owns the the mill here. They uh, they go back to this. You, you know, I think Dole was you know involved in this, and Dillingham, and you know, all these guys in the past uh, had some kind of ownership in this. And I saw there is also a big landowner here that goes all the way back to um, uh, California, actually, of all places. Can you believe that? Some guys are working down there. Let's just drive down this street. I have no idea where we are coming down. Lots of these signs, private property, keep out, no parking, no nothing. They have a small construction work going on here. And uh, yeah, people, uh, they probably you know what what's happening you look at the colors you, you can ask yourself why do they not paint these homes here because I have a feeling you can't buy these so no they are probably leasing or renting or, or stuff like that and whoever owns this plantation here uh, has to do all that and, and they don't because this is this is a lost time here. No, no, nobody, nobody wants to maintain this. This is closed. This, th there is no more sugar produced here. So why would they even try to, to fix this? They will just let it be like it is until it's all dead or gone. Okay. I will do a U-turn here and go back. But you get it. This is it from uh, Wailua. I hope... Uh, you saw something you liked, something interesting.